Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on a small project I was working on. Um, basically, yeah, most of you, I guess, already know this board. This is a TP4056, and basically what it does is uh, it it's made to charge a single lithium battery cell easily from 5 volts, for like, for example, USB. And it's worked really well, and it's really cheap and easy to use, so I use it in almost all my projects, like this kind of things. And but then uh, I was working on a new project, and it's basically a boombox, and I need a 12 volt supply, so around like three lithium cells, and you can't use this to charge three cells at a time; it will not work at all. So uh, this is what I came up with. So the most important part is this one, the BO505S1W. Um, I saw it in a mailbag video from uh, Voltlog, a YouTuber, and it seemed like a really interesting part, so I gave it a try and it worked really well. So basically what's happen if uh, I have a small a micro USB breakout board, so I can plug uh, micro USB to provide 5 volts. I provide 5 volt to all of these modules, and what they do is they take 5 volt uh, in input, they produce 5 volt at the output, but it's totally isolated. So basically, uh, each TP456 board will have its own isolated power supply, and then each uh, board is uh, connected to a lithium cell. Um, as you can see, they have each one of a different lead. Uh, so let me do a demonstration. If I bring a small power bank and plug it, yeah, as you can see, uh, we have two blue LED, so it means we have two cell charge. These two, if I'm, I guess, and this one is still red, still charging. So if we take a look with the multimeter, let me bring it inside a shot. So this one, we have 4.15, charge, considered charge, this one is 4.18, but this one is really out of balance, at, as you can see, at yeah, 3.72, this is really out of balance, and so it's still charging, and yeah, so each shell is really independent from the other one, and as you can see, I have 12 volts across. So yeah, I'm really happy. It's worked really well. Um, it the only limitation I would guess is uh, as it's one W, so it's in one watt. Uh, it's basically that uh, each module can only handle 200 milliamps across. So yeah, uh, um, I had to mod the TP456. Uh, usually on it you have a small SMD, um, it's a 1K I guess, resistor across here, and it sets um, the current. For So the default is with 1K, is um, the current is 1 amp. So it's obviously a bit too much for this. Uh, I tried at the beginning and they were getting really, really hot. So uh, here I added uh, a 5K resistors, so they will deliver the, the TP. 456 will only deliver 250 milliamps. Um, yeah, and so it's worked really, really well. And um, so I hope it's helped you and see you.